Sir, would you raise your right hand, please? Yes. Do you swear or affirm that the testimony you are about to give will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do. Thank you. Okay. Could you please state your uh, full name for the record? Yes, it's Tupac Amaro Shakur. Okay. And uh, what is your age and uh, your uh, resident address? Uh, I just turned 24, June 16th. Um, I'm living in Decatur, Georgia. Okay. How'd you get interested in music? I started off with poetry, writing poetry. Mm -hmm. But. What, ju junior high, high school? Yes. Okay. Junior high, high school. And. Poets I saw were like looked on as like wimps. Mm -hmm. So I, I did that personally, but then I started turning the poetry into songs. Mm -hmm. And that got more attention. How'd you get into rap? It is of my opinion that I was rapping while I was writing poetry. Okay. And so I was into rap. I guess you could say from junior high when I wrote my first poem. Mm -hmm. And after I heard on the radio that there were other poets who made records and it was, they were selling and it was working, then I decided to change the, uh, the method of my poetry. How do you define rap? What constitutes rap? That's just what it is, it's poetry. To me, it's storytelling, poetry, um, to music with a with a beat, with or without music, you can acapella rap. Okay, but it goes. It has some type of beat and tune to it, doesn't? It? Even if you don't have accompaniment. No, uh, even iambic pentameter is rap. Mm -hmm. You know, it's the way you write it and it's the structure. It depends on how you write it, but as to whether you need a beat or whatever. I guess it just wouldn't sell that much if you didn't have a beat. So. Right. The music is more of a selling tool than it is necessary <coughs> for music. Now, you were performing, by the time you did your solo album, um, what uh, people call gangster rap. No. You were not? No. Uh, what, would you, uh, what would you call what you were performing? Rap music. Rap music. Yeah. Uh, have you ever performed gangster rap? No. Okay, and why would you say that? Because I don't, I'm not, I don't know, number one, what gangster rap is. Number two, I don't classify what my music is as gangster rap. Um, Have you heard the term? A lot. Okay. There's next statement that I, I'm, I'm a, a victim for real. Um, I, I really got my ass beat. I really don't like police. I didn't, I didn't say that. Where you at right there? Oh, I didn't say that. That's not what it says. Okay. It says, I'm a victim for real. Everything I talk is for real. I really got my ass beat. I really don't like them. The right. interviewer wrote police. Did you mean police? No. What did you mean? I really got, I really don't like crooked police. Okay. So you feel okay about uh, other police? Feel okay? You like other police? You just don't like crooked like police? Is that your statement? I like everybody that just does their job. I mean, it depends on the, I don't know, personal. If I meet someone that's, that's kind-hearted and that's true and that's uh, fair, then I like them, because especially in a position like that. Somebody is in a position where they have to put their life on the line and they can still be fair to everybody they meet. I definitely like them. I admire that. Are you aware of any others who <coughs> had, uh, had uh, shot a policeman uh, especially teenagers who shot policemen after uh, uh, listening to your music. After allegedly listening to music. That's right, after allegedly listening. They said that they listened to your music. No. And that's what caused them to do it. But none of them ever said this until you guys that started saying this. So okay. they put it all on the news and had Dan Quayle well, say I'm it. A, so. I'm asking, are you aware of any others? No. The ones I asked? No. Okay. When did, uh, when did you first start getting fan mail? Do you remember what year? No, I don't. Uh, did I hear you say that you also receive unfavorable mail? Yeah, like this. I got a lot of mail from y'all. And... Um, from fans? No, from y'all. Okay. You guys. The lawyers. The lawsuits. From anybody else? 
did you um, ever receive unfavorable mail? Out of my whole mail? career, I believe I got five pieces of hate mail. Out of probably like a lot of a lot of all of the mail I've ever gotten, I've only got about five pieces maximum. Do you respond to that? I responded to your hate mail. <laughs> Just answer the questions when we get out of here. <laughs> Have you ever used illegal drugs? Um, marijuana? Yes. Any others? No. Okay. How often have you used marijuana? In my whole life? Yeah. At what point in my life? Let's say from uh, uh, 17 on. Um, I'm going to instruct the witness not to talk about any use or possession of illegal substances. I don't believe that is relevant to this. He's admitted he used it. I think it's absolutely relevant. You're, you're trying to make him out to be a choir boy, and uh, I want to I want to see what he what he's really done. I have and made him out to be anything. Uh, <laughs> you're trying to make me out to be a devil. Was it your intention to try to get young black people to be? Violent to police? No. Were you trying to provoke anybody to do anything particular? Were you trying to yes. provoke or trying to get people to do things? Yes. Tell us what. Think. Use your head. 